All right, so this is the second video. I'm gonna do the second version of that first song, Not Enough by Little Brother. And this is the instrumental, and I'm going to do the second verse after having learned a lot, and then tell you what I've learned, you know, tell you the, the, the more positives of this and what I changed to make it a lot better. All right, so here we go, cue and music. Yeah, oh, oh, as a mud ball, we call it news. That's a tough cause, and Z ball is the same old news. After love falls, and we all fall, fall, fall. Where will you be? I'm saying, where will you be? Yeah. Well, it's interesting to hear about the world's two biggest fears with the birth of many every year. Surprise, it never shifts or veers. And what was my reward at the end of all my seeking? People's two biggest fears, death and public speaking. It may be easy to just lock this, simply pointless and nonsense, but step back, taking the view. This life around us is so enormous while you're spooning through your boards. You're not thinking of the torrents of flooding in New Orleans. And what may just lie ahead for us? Whoa, see, being in a bubble is easy when life is comfortable. I love philosophy and blues, not too fond of Rubik's Cubes. But in other news, Seth Rogen, you're a funny dude. Starting writing super bad at 13, not 22. Well, enough of the theatrics. Cheers to the mighty youth. Cheers to the mighty youth. Yeah. Don't know. Oh, oh, oh. As a month walk by it, oh yeah. As a month walk by it, eh? No. As a mud ball, we call it moon. That's a tough cause, and Z ball is the same old news. We all, all fall. Where will you be? I'm saying, where will you be? Yeah. Oh. All right, then. So we just knocked out the second verse. And let's just go straight in to what were all the positives about then, why that one is a much better version. Okay, now, hook is immediately clear. Immediately clear, and it, and it punches. And it, not only that, it smoothly transitions into the verse. So, you know, we had, As a mud ball, we call earth moves. So that's... That's the that's the hook right there. And you don't always have to put your hook in the beginning, but you know, it's immediate and it definitely draws in the listener right away. And that was the full intention. And I did not do that in my first go around and that has made a huge difference. I mean, now people have something to hum away with, you know? All right, so with the next one, target audience, I made it clear this time. And my target audience is youth, teenagers, and, you know, kind of young adults. So we got Hurricane Katrina snippet that I put in there, you know, the flooding in New Orleans. And that's important because that was a very historical moment. You know, the inauguration of Obama, Hurricane Katrina, um, those were two historical moments, you know, George Bush as well. But that's a very historical moment for our generation. And we can very, very much relate to that. And as an artist, when you put that out there saying, hey, I'm talking about this. And if you're passionate about this, join me, join up with me. So that's what that is. Um, the second thing that I did was Rubik's Cubes, putting that in. And the importance of Rubik's Cubes is that the youth these days have grown up on Rubik's Cubes. I mean, more so in Japan and China, but it's definitely something that adding it into your song makes a difference. Um, I made sure to put in Seth Rogen and Superbad. And the thing is with Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen is probably the, the epitome of exactly what teenagers and young adults want to hear and like to hear. In, in, in a good movie. And they, you know, he, he includes a lot of the lines and jokes that we relate to and that young adults can really vibe with. And putting that in as an artist, you then make another common bond with the listener. And that's very important as an artist because you need to know who your target audience is and then cater to them because they're not going to believe in you if they don't have anything in common with you. It's the same way that it works when you meet human beings. You need to have the common bond. So I made sure also the last two to put in public speaking. You know, I, I did a little bit of research and I found out that the two biggest fears among human beings are death and public speaking. But as a teenager, if you don't know that public speaking is a huge fear among all people in the world, 
it's you know it can be discouraging because you might beat up on yourself more but coming from uh, a song that's got an artist who's confident and giving you voice inflection that's dynamic for some reason you're just more inclined to believe an artist when he's saying that so there you go public speaking is something that a lot of people fear so it's okay you know like be okay with yourself and be willing to work at it so that's very important so you're 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 being didactic but at the same kind same time pretty sympathetic and empathetic to you know what every kind of human goes through so you're hitting a wide range of targets right there and the last thing I did was that cheers to the mighty youth cheers to the mighty youth you know cheers to the mighty youth that's kind of like a little that's kind of a little anthem you know good for you guys raise up let's do this together and let's be strong about it I mean this is us we are the mighty youth that's gonna be the next generation of people that are gonna change the world it's up to us and that really transitions well back into the hook because that hook ends with you know where will you be I mean that's where will you be? And that's very important. That's a very important question to be asking because, you know, as chi as children, we get to play around a lot. And then 17, 18, we start realizing that in a couple years, we're going to have to be financially independent. And that's very important to have a song that can pump you up and remind you that, hey, you still have a responsibility. All right. So third thing, there's a lot of fresh flow in there. There are a lot of variations, dynamic flow. We're not doing the same old monotonous. It's interesting to hear about the two biggest fears. I mean, nobody can relate to monotony. And no one likes monotony. That's why we listen to music, to escape the monotony and the mundane of the real world that we walk in, in and out of every day. We wake up, we feel like it's the same place. When you escape to music, just like any other escape, you want to know that you're going somewhere else. You want to know that there's another world out there that's maybe better for you. And that's that's the power of music, is that you can close your eyes and instantly be 100,000 miles away from wherever you are at that moment. So to be monotonous, you've lost it. And even as a public speaker, to be monotonous, no one believes in your message. They know you're giving them a speech. But when you allow them to just absorb themselves in, in your whole entire uh, uh, performance, there's something completely new about that and important. So, uh, and there were a lot of increases in speed. And that changes up the flow a lot and it makes it a lot more fresh. And so those are the things that I did differently in that one that make it a lot better than the first version and would make it more, you know, would make A&R directors and radio uh, DJs more inclined to play that on the radio. So I hope that you learned something from that. And that's the first and second version of the first song.